basic skills for the TOEFL IBT. Speaking one. Unit one. Independent. C. Listen and repeat. I wake up at eight o'clock. For fun, I watch TV at night, and after school, I eat dinner and go to piano class. F. Listen to the sample responses and complete the outlines. Sample response one. I love weekends much more than weekdays. During the week, I have to be serious and academic. On the weekend, I like to relax. I deserve a break because I work hard all week at school. Plus, the weekend gives me time to watch a movie or do other things that I enjoy. I love my weekends. Sample response two. I prefer weekdays to the weekend. I feel that the weekend wastes time and is so dull. I like to go to school during the week. Being a student is like my job, and I like to do my job well. I also like contributing my thoughts and ideas at school. I also get to see my friends when I'm there. On weekends, I do nothing. The weekends are great for some people, but not for me. Integrated. C. Listen and repeat. The announcement says that the library will change its hours and now stay open for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is so students can prepare for their exams. I think the conversation will be about how the change of hours will help the students. B. Listen to the conversation and take notes. What's wrong? I've got an essay to write for tomorrow, and the library is going to close soon. No, it's not. This is the first day of the new hours. What new hours? Didn't you read the announcement? For the final month of classes, the library will be open 24 hours a day. Really? That's fantastic. I was having trouble getting all my work done in the old opening hours. Is it open on Sundays? Yes, seven days a week. What a great idea! Now I will have enough time to study. I always study at home, so it won't make any difference to me. For me, it's great because I can't study at home. It's too noisy there. That's why I do everything at the library. Now I have plenty of time to finish this essay, and then it will be easier to study for exams. I think this will help many people. D. Listen to the sample response and complete the outline. The man thinks that the change in library hours is a great idea because it will give him more time to finish his essay and to study for exams. The man can't study at home because it is too noisy, so he does everything in the library. He thinks the longer hours will help many people. Test Step Two: Listen to the conversation and take notes. I hear the university is changing the hours at the computer lab. Don't remind me. What? I think it's a great idea. I always have trouble accessing a computer, especially around final exams. I think this will help. I don't think it will make much difference. They need to get more computers. Yeah, that would be best. But changing the hours will help. Why are you so against it? I work there. Now I will have to get up really early in the morning, and I doubt very many students will go there at 7 a.m. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Maybe it won't be permanent, and surely they'll pay you more. It sounds like it is permanent, but you're right. They will be paying the workers more. However, I think they should use that money to buy more computers instead. Then many students could use computers at the same time and not have to come in early. That's a good point. Unit two. Independent. C. Listen and repeat. My best friend's name is Kathy. I met her when my family moved to a new apartment two years ago. We like to play computer games together. F. Listen to the sample responses and complete the outlines. Sample response one. 
I think that best friends usually have opposite personalities and like different things. A good example is my best friend and me. I am quiet and my pastimes are usually indoor activities. My friend is very adventurous and likes to do things outdoors. I think we are friends because we find each other interesting. Sample response 2. I think that best friends usually have similar personalities and like the same things. A good example is my best friend and me. We are both adventurous and very outgoing. We both like to do outdoor activities and love to play soccer together. I think we are friends because we have fun together. Integrated C. Listen and repeat. The passage is about Impressionism, which was popular in the 1800s and was started in France. Impressionists painted their experiences, nature, and the outdoors. They often painted trees and lakes. I think the lecture will be about Impressionist painters and their style. B. Listen to the lecture and take notes. Impressionists painted things to make them look real. They did this in many ways. In the 19th century, art supplies were light and easy to carry, so many artists painted nature outdoors. For example, Monet painted in a garden. He dug a hole and put his canvas in it. There he made a painting of young women. He liked painting outside. He told people that he did not have a real studio. However, things in nature often change or move. So, speed was important so that drawings and paintings could be finished quickly. Often they were finished in one or two hours. Sometimes it was faster. Artists like Monet also tried different colors. Some things were very hard to copy. They used red, yellow, and green for sunny paintings. Cloudy scenes used gray and blue. This way they could show how they saw the world. D. Listen to the sample response and complete the outline. The lecture and passage were about Monet and Impressionism. Impressionists like to paint things in nature, such as trees, lakes, or people who were outside. To do this, they painted while outside. Monet also liked to paint outside, so he painted in a garden. He didn't have a real studio. Monet and other Impressionists painted quickly and used many different colors to show how they saw the world. Everything Monet did was very normal for Impressionists. Test. Step 2. Listen to the lecture and take notes. Berta Morisot studied drawing as a child with her three sisters. She began by drawing and painting outdoor scenes. After, she painted scenes from her home. Her parents were happy that she was an artist. Her sisters and their children were her models. Later, she had her own style. Her unique style was very feminine. No matter what medium she used, she used light brush strokes. Critics really liked her work because it was realistic. She often painted in nature. She liked to paint trees, ponds, and lakes. She didn't like painting crowds of busy people. In her paintings, there are usually one or two people with water and leaves. Often the people are resting or boating on a lake. She sometimes painted while sitting in a boat. It was difficult because the boats moved. Once, she became angry and threw her painting into the lake. She died in 1895 at age 54. Unit 3 Independent C. Listen and repeat. I use a cell phone to make my phone calls. I use it all the time. However, I hate to send text messages. F. Listen to the sample responses and complete the outlines. Sample response 1. I prefer to communicate with old-fashioned telephones. I don't understand new technology. Computers are very complicated and cell phones get really bad reception. Telephones, however, are really easy to use, very dependable, and you can find them everywhere. For me, telephones are the best way to communicate. Sample response 2. 
I love to talk to people through instant messaging. It is so fast and easy that anyone can use it. In addition, I can have multiple conversations at one time and send files. All my friends use it, and we all have a custom of coming home from school and chatting online until dinner time. I love instant messaging. Integrated. B. Listen to the first part of a conversation, then answer the questions. So, have you decided where to go for university yet? No, I still haven't decided if I should stay here or move away. What would be good about staying near home? It would be cheaper because I could live with my parents. C. Listen and repeat. The students are discussing if the woman should study in her hometown or move to another city. The woman says that if she stays at home, it will be cheaper and she can live with her parents. I think the rest of the conversation will be about why she should move away. A. Listen to the full conversation and take notes. So, have you decided where to go for university yet? No, I still haven't decided if I should stay here or move away. What would be good about staying near home? It would be cheaper because I could live with my parents, and I wouldn't have to fly home for the holidays. Plus, I know this city really well, and I have a lot of friends here. So, why would you like to move away? It would be nice to see a new city. I would be motivated to meet new people. Also, I'd like to become more independent. My parents aren't very flexible with what they let me do. Yes, that's a difficult decision. If you move, you would have more freedom, but you wouldn't see your family and friends often. And if you stay, you won't have to be responsible for everything, but you would miss out on doing new things. Do you have to decide immediately? No, I have time to think about it some more. D. Listen to the sample response and complete the outline. The conversation is about whether the student should stay at home or move away for university. The advantages of living at home are that it's cheaper because she could live with her parents and that she wouldn't have to fly home for the holidays. She also knows the city well and has many friends there. However, there are advantages to living away from home as well. For example, she could see a new city and therefore meet new people. She would also become more independent and so have a more flexible lifestyle. I think she should stay at home as she will be more comfortable there and she won't miss her friends or family. I think family and friends are more important. Test Step 1 Listen to the conversation and take notes. Hi, John. How is your online course? Good. Why do you ask? Well, I'm thinking about doing an online course. Could you give me some advice? Sure. You have to be motivated to complete an online course. Most of it is independent study, so you must make yourself a schedule. Also, you have to be responsible enough to solve problems by yourself. Aren't there professors to help you? Yes, but it's different from a classroom. In a classroom, the professor can give you some guidance immediately. For an online course, you have to email the professor. What do you like about the course? It's really flexible. I have the freedom to study when I want to. I can have a job at the same time. Also, I don't have to move away to go to school. That makes it cheaper. An online degree is great for some people, but not for others. Thanks for explaining it. I will need to decide if it would be good for me. Unit 4 Independent C. Listen and repeat. I live in a big house. Near my house, there are a lot of parks and walking trails. The best thing about my home is the beautiful view of the mountains from our backyard. F. Listen to the sample responses and complete the outlines. Sample response 1. I think that living in the city has many more advantages than living in the countryside. The city is so much fun. Fun things in the city include sports games, museums, and movie theaters. The countryside doesn't have these things. 
Moreover, the city is so convenient because shops are close. Living in the countryside has too many disadvantages. Sample response 2. I think that the countryside has more advantages than the city. The countryside, unlike the city, has a lot of space. This is good for kids who want to play. Also, the countryside is healthier because it has much cleaner air compared to the city. The countryside is a much better place to live than the city. Integrated. B. Listen to the first part of the lecture, then answer the questions. There are many different animals that live in the Arctic. Some live on land and some in the sea. The most famous Arctic animal is the polar bear. It is land dwelling. C. Listen and repeat. The lecture is about Arctic animals. The most famous Arctic animal is the polar bear. I think the professor will talk about other Arctic animals. A. Listen to the full lecture and take notes. There are many different animals that live in the Arctic. Some live on land and some in the sea. The most famous Arctic animal is the polar bear. It is land dwelling. So are the caribou and the Arctic hare. The caribou is a kind of deer. Its babies are born on the tundra. They can walk at one day old. The Arctic hare is like a rabbit. They live in herds with hundreds of other hares. In the sea, there are whales, seals, and walrus. Famous Arctic whales are the beluga and the narwhal. The male narwhal has a long tusk. You can also find birds in the far north. Most of these are seabirds. Some stay in the Arctic all year, and some migrate south in the winter. They eat plants and fish. All of these animals have adapted to living in the cold and have developed ways to avoid their enemies. D. Listen to the sample response and complete the outline. The lecture is about different Arctic animals. There are many land and sea animals in the Arctic. For example, the land animals called polar bears are the most famous Arctic animal. There are also caribou, which are like deer. Its babies can walk at a day old. And Arctic hares, which are like rabbits, live in herds. There are many sea animals such as whales, seals, and walruses. One type of whale even has a long tusk. There are many birds in the Arctic. Some stay there all year, but some migrate in winter. There are many animals in the Arctic, which shows they can adapt well to their environment. Test. Step 1. Listen to the lecture and take notes. Polar dwelling animals have to adapt to live in the Arctic. They all eat food that is easy to find. Caribou and musk oxen eat green plants. Arctic foxes and wolves eat other animals. The caribou migrate south to find food and to keep warm in the winter. Musk oxen have special hooves to get grass from under the snow. They also have very long fur to keep warm. Polar bears and whales have a thick layer of fat. This protects them from the cold water. Some animals change color to hide from their enemies. The Arctic hare has brown fur in the summer, but in the winter it has white fur. Many Arctic birds are the same. In the summer they can hide in the brown grass. In the winter they hide in the white snow on the tundra so their enemies can't see them. This is how animals adapt in the Arctic. Unit 5 Independent C. Listen and repeat. My favorite sport to play is basketball. It is my favorite sport to play because it is such a fast and competitive game. My favorite sport to watch is American football. F. Listen to the sample responses and complete the outlines. Sample response 1. I prefer physical activities. Athletic games usually allow more of my friends to participate. This gives me a chance to socialize. Also, I feel great after I run around a little bit. My body feels energized so I can focus more on my homework. 
Physical activities are much more fun for me. Sample response 2. I like non-physical activities. I love to read books and connect with different kinds of characters. When reading books or watching TV, I have to use my brain a lot more, so I feel that it makes me smarter. Plus, I can read books anywhere I go. Because of this, I prefer non-physical activities. Integrated C. Listen and repeat. A new study center will open. Computer access and assistance from student tutors will be available. I think the conversation will be about the new study center. B. Listen to the conversation and take notes. Have you heard about the new study center that's going to open next week? Yeah, I heard. Isn't it fantastic? There will be more access to computers. Yes, computers are a great educational aid. Plus, there are going to be student tutors available to help with homework and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of pointless. Pointless? Why would you say that? Because there aren't enough volunteers. Students who frequent the center are going to have to wait a long time to get help. And then they will only have five minutes with the volunteer. Another concern is that helpers are appointed to students needing help randomly. So if you find a helper you really like, you won't always get the same person. Hmm, that is a problem. But don't say it's pointless. At least it's a start. I think they should have put the money into a tutoring service instead. If you paid the tutors, you'd get a lot more interest. D. Listen to the sample response and complete the outline. The conversation is about the services that will be offered at the new study center. The man is happy because there will be more computers there and there will be student tutors available to help with homework. The woman is concerned that the center will be pointless because she knows that there are not enough student volunteers. As such, students will have to wait a long time to see a tutor. Then, once they are appointed a tutor, they will only have five minutes with them. Also, the tutors will be assigned randomly. She suggests that the university should use the money for a tutoring service instead. Test Step 2. Listen to the conversation and take notes. I can't believe this. They just announced that they're not going to have free tutors anymore. I know. It's just awful, isn't it? Yeah, but if there's no money, there's no money. I wouldn't want them to raise student fees either. And you can't expect students to volunteer for free. They're too busy. Well, how about spending a little less money on sports? They don't cut back on the amount of money they give the football team. This is a university. It's supposed to be about education first. Cutting back on educational services before sports is awful. A lot of students need that free service. Now there will be extra work for the professors, too. They'll have to have longer office hours to help all the students who need it. Hey, those are good points. You should write to the school paper or something. I think I will. Unit 6 Independent C. Listen and repeat. I usually buy things to eat and I normally get money for my part-time job. In the future, I want to buy a car. F. Listen to the sample responses and complete the outlines. Sample response 1. I think that it is better to spend my spare money immediately. I always like to have fun. Concerts and movies are so much fun. I also always like to look fashionable. Fashion styles are always changing, so I always have to buy the most modern clothes. Spending my spare money makes me happy. Sample response 2 I think that it is better to save your money for the future. Saving your money allows you to buy more expensive things. Last year, I bought a new computer. It is also good to have money for an emergency. If I lose something important, I can always replace it. Saving money makes me feel more responsible. Integrated C. Listen and repeat. Astronomy is the study of the universe. Astronomers study the planets and stars in our solar system. 
I think the lecture will be about astronomy and our solar system. B. Listen to the lecture and take notes. Astronomers want to find out more about the solar system. It is the part of the universe we live in. They look at the size of planets and how they orbit the sun. They use telescopes to study the planets and the sun because they are very far away. For example, it takes eight minutes for sunlight to reach Earth. The sun is a star. It is bright because it is closer to us than other stars. We live on a planet called Earth. Our planet is the third one from the sun. Jupiter is the biggest planet. There are eight planets in our solar system. There used to be nine planets altogether. As of 2006, Pluto is no longer considered a planet. The Earth orbits the Sun once a year. The Earth also has a moon. The moon is covered with craters. The moon orbits the Earth once a month. D. Listen to the sample response and complete the outline. The lecture and passage were about astronomy and the solar system. Astronomers study the universe. They believe that the universe began with an explosion. They look at the size and movement of planets around the sun. There used to be nine planets, but now there are only eight. They use telescopes to study the planets and the sun because they are far away. The sun is bright because it is closer to us than other stars. The planets are spheres like Earth. Test. Step two. Listen to the lecture and take notes. The moon is a natural satellite. It orbits the Earth. It takes a month to go around the Earth. It is the only object in space that people have visited. Man first walked on it in 1969. Altogether, 12 men have been on the moon. You can see it clearly with your eyes, binoculars, or a telescope. We can see a full moon once a month too. People use telescopes to look at the craters on it. There is no wind or rain on the moon. This means the craters do not go away. It is quite close to us. It is bright because we see sunlight bounce off it. When it goes between us and the sun, it is called an eclipse. We always see the same side of the moon. Review one. Integrated one. Step two. Listen to the conversation and take notes. I just heard that the school is going to close down the cafeteria. Yeah, what a stupid idea. Well, I didn't really go there anyway. I don't care. I go to the shops. I go every day. What am I supposed to do now? You can leave school at lunchtime if you want. But that's not really convenient. I like to sit and study there when I have my lunch. Why didn't the school just stop students from leaving at lunchtime? That would be far better. I'm going to tell the school what I think of this rubbish. It's just not realistic. Are you being serious? If I talk to some others, maybe we could influence the decision to close it. I don't think that the school will be too flexible about their decision. Yeah, but I have to try and get them to consider the people that use it every day. Integrated two. Step one: Listen to the lecture and take notes. A business is a company that sells goods or services to people. They do this to make money, which is called profit. They can be very small or very big. A business could be a local shop or a cafe. Some companies have sites all over the world. It takes time for them to become this good. Most companies start small and become big when they make more profit. This is how the company Google became so popular. It looks for things on the internet. It organizes the information so it is easy to read. It started in 1998. At the time, its office was in a garage. Slowly, it got bigger and bigger. As their technology got better and adapted, it became more popular. Now, Google is a very big company that is known all over the world. A company is better when its goods or services are more convenient for you.